brought to you by Franklin County Redneck Committee on YouTube and Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook. see right here that's black it, oh I forget what the name of it black ginger black ginger okay holds a lot of herb helps helps with medical and you see right here you got slanted where the little areas like this right here it's above ground a little bit and this rest of it will roots and it'll start shooting off on to the sides of this like like this you see how this is it will do that and you see already see it looks like there's like could be pops up of little spots where it's ready to go okay now you're planting them down in here yeah and i'm planting them one here and you can look and use your imagination about how far apart they are here here and here Okay, you want to keep them where they're not, don't saturate them, but you want to keep them the soil. Show, you want me. Show that black spot too. Okay. I'll take a picture of it. Yeah, and right here. Okay. Okay. And these are the other black ginger as well. You don't want to directly put the water on, let it now this one too, it's got a thing underneath here. You can fill that water up in there. Yeah, let's try. Well, don't do it now. You, you got to water all your stuff. So I can come back later and put it in there for you. Oh, that's the reason why I said that for. Mm -hmm. And you got to put them in the right position. This little open, this little thing right here, it's got to stay up. And you gotta make sure this up uh, here don't get added, you know. Freaking in April, uh, a week and four days before spring frost, which is April the 22nd. These were Robert's, uh, these are Robert's uh, ginger. I put some uh, coconut hair on top of them and then I covered them because last night we had a frost come through. And then on the ones that we have out here, I put bags over the top of them to protect them from the frost. And there's my tulip. Here's Robert's black ginger, I guess he calls it. All right, so this is uh, another pot of ginger. Here's two of them. 
right there and right there. They're buried. Uh, this one is another ginger. That one's kind of buried. The reason why they're kind of buried is because uh, this is the same kind of ginger, like the ones up in the tote. This is the black one. But the reason why they're kind of buried is because Robert put them out before uh, the last frost. So every time it got cold or I thought there might be a frost, I covered them up. And then we put some down here in this area. And I've been putting water down here to feed the ginger up top. I've been doing the same there with that one. There's no changes with this one. And again, it's May the 26th, 2008, zone 6. This one looks like that. I think that one's the most promising. And that one. This June the 12th, 2019, Zone 6 in Southern Illinois. So here's an update on the ginger. We've got uh, a red sprout there. And there's nothing in this one yet. <clears throat> but we do have another one, red sprout right here. Nothing over there yet. Nothing, nothing there yet. So. This is a part of another ginger, black ginger, okay? You see how we got this set up? Because of squirrels, birds, and all. See the little stick right there? That's where the ginger is right there next to it. On each of these. Brown bricks, the way we got it, is to set it up to where the wind or the squirrels do not flip it over and take it. Okay, and we're going to water this, make this nice and easy. And this is a winter, only a summer crop. This is not very good for holding too cold of a weather. Look at that one too. That's a two. Uh, right here, just straight put some down there. That's where the peach is buried. Okay. I also want to point out that Robert put uh, his uh, shredded orange pills, which has citric acid in it, inside of the yeah, tub. Inside the tub with the ginger and the tulips. He doing it because he says they will help keep the insects and everything away and we'll find out. And this is where Robert's plow to. He's thinking about it, but he said he, earlier he's going to make or plant sunflowers too in here with these. This one, it's the same way. It's in between seven and eight. 
that's why. That's all that is. The moisture. It says that they're all dry. We're going to plant sunflower seeds, the black sunflower seeds. Just, but let me show you what, what they look like. Show the bag. Okay. <clears throat> and these need to be <coughs> uh, one inch deep and six inches or one inch deep and six you inches can see per right here. Go right up to here. Okay. And you see how tight they are too. And they look different too. Okay. Here's another one right here. Okay. And that one. <clears throat> now where was the last one? Right here. Another one here. Oh, that's the last one. That's the last one. Yeah, I ain't opened the other one yet. Okay, so this is so far how the uh, ginger is going in the tow container. Here's an update on the ginger that we've had in here. And like I said, I'm just now learning about ginger, so and I'm learning how to identify a whole lot of these. I'm not sure what's going on. This is my turn up. And I don't know how that's supposed to work out either. Pictures of it. And we have sunflowers growing there. I'm thinking maybe that one is a sunflower. I'm not sure. And that one too. I'm not sure, but I think it's that.
brought to you by Franklin County Redneck Committee on YouTube and Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.